a little bit of almond milk. Dunkin' Mocha Latte. That's it. That's it right there. You see this? Chipotle bowl with chips, guac for three bucks. DM me for methods. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, you got it, you got it. You too. Bag secured. I'm gonna put you guys on real quick. Always get chips, wraps on the side, and then a bowl. But what you do is you take the wrap, you open it. You gotta get two as well, so you can make two burritos. Put it out like this. Dang, I got the tutorials on everything, huh? Then you just take about half the bowl. Folding technique is really important. You gotta drag it back, fold in the sides. Oh, this is kind of a fail, honestly. And then roll it up. Now you got a burrito, extra wrap, half a bowl. I swear, Chipotle is different. So there's a secret tool that I've been using for a long time to color grade my footage that just makes the grading process like super easy and it allows you to get really creative. It allows you to take colors from other videos that you think are dope and then apply it to your footage and it gives you a really good base to start. In Premiere Pro, we have this very flat and desaturated footage, very similar to something you'd get with like S-Log or just shooting raw. With this technique, it doesn't need to be flat, but I just wanna show the full color grading process. So that's why I have it like this. With this tool that's built into Premiere Pro, you can literally take a color grade from any movie, music video, film, cartoon, pretty much anywhere and apply it to your footage. A good website to get inspiration and find really good color grades is this website, film-grab.com. I'll have it linked in the description. It's free, you don't even need to make an account. You can just go through this whole entire website, find some colors that you like, that you wanna to apply to your footage. In Premiere Pro, I already have an image selected that I wanna apply the grade to, but let's go ahead and get two just so I can show you more examples. This color grade looks really cool. And when you open up one film, you can see there's a bunch of different scenes from that film. Now just save this image to your computer, go back into Premiere Pro and open that up. So then all you have to do is drag in your image into your timeline. Just make sure it's visible and it's above your footage. I always put it at the beginning just so it's really easy to find. And then let's go over here and just make sure that we scale it up so it takes up the whole entire frame. Let's go to Lumetri Color and then under Color Wheel and Match, go ahead and click Comparison View. Then with the scroll bar, you just have to find where your image is. So that's why I put it at the beginning so you can just drag this playhead all the way to the left and your image will be there. And all you have to do is click Apply Match. Now let's close the Comparison View. And just like that, you already have a cool color grade. I like to use it as a base and not to completely use this exact color grade. I'm going to bring up the midtones, up the shadows a bit because it's just a bit dark. And then you can play around with the color wheel. I'm going to drag it down a bit so it's not as intense. And you can just move around these colors to get a good starting point. Since it is a super desaturated clip, I want to go ahead and add back in that contrast, some of that saturation back in, maybe change the temperature a bit and then go into the curves and add a little bit more contrast. So this right here is with some contrast added back in, but without the color match tool applied. So when we check that, you can see it gives that stylistic look, and I think it looks really good on this clip. Maybe the frame that you brought in just didn't look good on your footage, or you don't like the way it looks. We can go back into comparison view, bring back in our footage. I'm gonna scale this up just so it fills out the whole frame, and then just click apply match. This one has an interesting color grade. I'm not as big of a fan of this one, but it is nice that you can apply a bunch of these different looks to your footage and just play around and see what looks good. Let's stay with the first one. I like the way that grade looked a little bit more. I just wanna show you a bit more of my color grading process and what I use. So I always like to add an adjustment layer over your footage. I like using my film looks adjustment layer effect. It just brings the footage together and gives it a little bit more of a film look. And then I'll just duplicate my footage and drag on my film halation preset on top too. It just adds those red outlines around stuff and I think it just smooths out the footage. If you like the way I graded this footage, you'll like my essentials all in one bundle. It comes with LUTs that have very similar looks to this. The effects and transition pack that has that film look, the halations, the bloom, a lot of the film aesthetic stuff, as well as a lot of other essential effects and transitions and also it comes with sound effects that way you can bring your footage to life and give it a little bit more of atmosphere feel. I would say definitely play around with this color match tool. There's so much you can do with it. You can take inspiration from your favorite films, movies, TV shows, cartoons. Realistically, you can take colors from any still image and apply it to your video footage. You can really go crazy with it. I'll have that film grab website that I used linked in the description. If you want more videos to watch, here is a video that I just did using AI to create an insane effect. It's really dope. And over here is me trying Blender for the first time and creating a 3D car. It didn't go too well. I'd watch this one. Peace.